Hey, what's up, fellas? How are we doing? Manny Tonelli here, making a video for you guys today, answering your questions. Today's question was about major league clubhouses, what they look like, what, how are they set up, you know, what do they offer, um, what's the food like, all that stuff. And so we'll take a few minutes here to go over. Um, you know, we'll spend a lot of time on Petco Park because that was the clubhouse I was in when I was in the major leagues uh, most often. Um, but I've also been on the road a decent amount, and so we had a bunch of different clubhouses. So we'll talk about road clubhouses and the differences between that and the home clubhouse and, and all that stuff. So let's start off with um, with Petco Park in San Diego. Um, to give you an idea of kind of what the clubhouse looks like shape-wise, basically when you walk in the clubhouse in San Diego, um, the uh, the lockers... I guess you call them lockers, are set up uh, pretty much all the way around the uh, perimeter of the clubhouse. And so um, in the middle, they've got you know a bunch of sofas. They have televisions that kind of go all the way around. And then along the outside, you have all the lockers. Um, you know, Lockers probably isn't a great word for it because when, when I think of lockers, I think of like a high school football locker where it's like this metal cage looking thing. Um, they're a little bit nicer than that. So they're wooden, they're kind of set into the wall. You know, you've got a bunch of drawers where you can put all kinds of stuff. Actually, when I got called up, um, when I opened, <laughs> I opened up my drawer and I forget his name actually, but I, I think we had just released or traded or something um, a second baseman that I came in and ended up um, not taking his spot, but I ended up playing when he left. I think it was Tadahito Iguchi. I feel like that was his name. Um, he was a Japanese player, really good second baseman, played for the White Sox for a long time, I believe. And uh, when I got there, I, I guess I had taken his, um, his locker. And when I opened up the bottom drawers, he had left like a hundred pairs of um, these Japanese batting gloves, which were awesome, but I have really big hands and, and the gloves were small and so I couldn't fit my hand into any of them. Um, but I took them home and passed them out to a bunch of guys that I know, a bunch of like local kids and stuff because they were like, they were badass. Um, anyway, so you have like these, you know, you got a bunch of drawers you can put all your stuff in. Um, usually at the top you have these two drawers that swing open and, you know, if you got personal stuff or valuable stuff, you can put them up there. Um, you have a nice leather chair. It's a reclining leather chair, pretty much. Almost like a, uh, if you think about like an office chair, kind of, but like a really, really nice office chair. Um, you know, everyone has one of those. You're not sitting on some uncomfortable chair like the one I'm sitting on right now. Um, like I said, the sofas, you get these really big sofas, really comfortable. A lot of times guys will, you know, a lot of times guys will get their work in, especially if you're a pitcher and you don't have a ton to do the rest of the day. A lot of guys will just hang out in the sofas. You know, there's always games on television. Um, there's always something going on on TV. And so you have guys relaxing on the sofas um, throughout the day. Other things that you have in there. So if you go down, there's a long hallway um, inside the state or inside the clubhouse. And basically you'll have, um, you know, if you go left, you go down this hallway, you go left, you've got uh, a room with, with hot tubs. So you have a hot tub and a cold tub. So a lot of guys um, after games, you know, maybe if they have an injury or something, will jump in the cold tub. Um, a lot of guys like that will jump into it actually just to kind of shock their system. So they'll even do it before. Um, they also have the hot tub. So if you want to get loose, what I like to do is I used to like to go in and take a hot tub before I got stretched out and everything, just to kind of get my body loose and warm, and then I'd go and get ready. And so the, the tubs that they have are not, um, it's not like a bathtub, it's like a, basically it looks like almost like a in-ground like jacuzzi tub. So you just kind of walk down into it, and it's big. It can hold, you know, a bunch of guys. Um, and um, they're just really nice and, and easy. Just go in, jump in, jump out, you know, five, five minutes or so, um, it's perfect. There's, if you go down, there's also a training room. And so the training room is, uh, you know, you want to try to stay out of the training room as much as you can. Unfortunately, I didn't do a good job of that through my career. Um, but the training rooms are really nice. You know, you go in there, you get your trainer, you've got, you know, a couple of big long tables you can sit down and get stretched out on, get worked on. Um, you also, if you go down, you've got the um, manager's office. And then you're going to have the coaches' offices, and so you know that's typically where the managers and coaches will hang out. Again, depending on the manager, you know sometimes you'll have managers that'll kind of I don't want to say mingle with the team, but will be in the clubhouse a little bit more. You'll have some managers that are never in the clubhouse, uh, but usually if you want to find the manager, he's in his office. And most managers early in the year will say, you know, I have an open door policy, so my door is always open. You want to come in and talk to me? 
um, feel free to just come in and stop by. Um, if you keep going, we've got, um, at the very end of the hall, you've got a really, really nice weight room. And so, um, you know, it's, I don't know exactly how to describe how big it is, but it's, you know, you can fit a whole team in there working out. It's really, big. it's not the size of a Planet Fitness or anything, but it's a good size weight room. You're going to have everything that you need to work out there. So you're not going to have to go anywhere else. You can have all your, your squat racks. You're going to have, you're going to have everything, right? So, um, then we also have a little area where there's a, a refrigerator for protein shakes. You're going to have, you know, some supplements that are all um, approved, of course. Um, and so you're going to have all that stuff there. And you can come in there and get a workout in really at any time you want. Some guys come in really early and get their workout in the morning. Some guys come after the game, so they'll finish the game and they'll go um, work out after the game. Other stuff, we have uh, a little cafeteria area, uh, like a dining room. It's not big. It's, um, you know, it's not super small, but you can fit, I mean, you could fit probably 15, 20 guys in there if you wanted to, but it's not this, you know, humongous area. Um, as you go in, you can grab a bunch of food if you want it. They also have, you know, they've got, uh, where our clubbies will be, they'll kind of go behind this uh, counter area, and then that's where they can kind of cook you the food. So a lot of times you can go in and just be like, hey, can I grab a, uh, you know, a burger or a chicken sandwich or or something and they'll throw it together for you and then you have like a small area to eat with TVs and stuff um, if you just want something quick again you can jump in and grab some cereal or something um, eat quick and then and head on out as you kind of go down towards like you're going down towards the field they've got a, a batting cage so it's um, again not a huge batting cage but big enough that you know, you're not going to have a whole team workout in there. You know, we're always going to hit on the field as a team. But, you know, a lot of guys, almost everyone will go and do early work down there. So you go down into the cage, you do early work, you know, you do your routine, you get off the tee, some flips. You have a batting, you have, um, you know, pretty much every team has a guy that will just, he's just there to throw your BP and flip your balls. And so you go down with him, get all your work in. Um, a lot of guys, guys that are on the bench that day that are maybe will come up as a pinch hitter, at some point in the game, we'll typically go down during the game, say like the fifth inning, they'll start to get loose, they'll start to take swings in case they have to pinch hit. Maybe you're going to go into the game as a replacement, a defensive replacement. The guys will go down and get loose there. Designated hitters a lot of times will go down and get loose, um, you know, in between at bats, so they're not just sitting around all day. And so there's a television in there with the game on, so you always know what's going on. You can hit, watch the game. Okay, I got to run up and get out there, and you can head back out. Um, on the other side of the, of when you're coming down to the field, there's a area with a bunch of computers and that's the video room. So you can go in there, you can watch any at bat of your entire career. I can pull up any at bat from pretty much any player. I can pull up anything. You can put in, you know, what happened on December 3rd on 2-0 counts, you know, when the wind was blowing seven degrees, uh, Northwest, like you can literally put in anything and you can get information. Um, and so I go in there usually before games. Sometimes after a game, you want to go watch your bats and see if you're doing anything incorrectly. Um, you know, you go in there and study the opposing pitcher. Um, you know, so guys are always kind of in and out of that room. And again, that's open all the time. You can go in there whatever you want and really do whatever you want in there. Um, what else? Ah, showers. So uh, there's also a huge shower area, a huge bathroom area. And so, you know, you've got everything you want. You want to go in there and... Um, how many showers were there? I can't remember exactly how many showers, but there's plenty. You know, it's not like you're really going to have to wait much for showers. Now, they don't have 30 showers, um, but they've got a lot, enough that, you know, usually you're not waiting. Guys can just jump in and out whenever they want. Also in Petco, um, we had like a little sauna. So you could jump in the sauna if you wanted to. I never used it. I was never really a sauna guy. Um, but if you wanted to jump in, I've seen players, I've seen some players that use it every single day. They're always jumping in there and using the sauna. Um, and I think that pretty much, I'm trying to think if I missed anything in the clubhouse. I think that pretty much covers it. You also actually, I guess you also have a big, you know, equipment area where um, they hold all the cleats and the extra bats and the hats and the jerseys and all that stuff. And so there's times where you maybe need something extra. You can go ahead in there. Usually you're going to grab the club. You're not just going to go in and just start messing around, although I'm sure some of the older players might have. But if I ever needed anything, I'd just grab a clubby and ask if he could grab me, you know, an extra hat or, you know, could he get me a bat or, or whatever. And it's a pretty big area that has, you know, tons of stuff in there. Um, and so that's how the, the, the that's how Petco's clubhouse is. Really, really nice, you know. Petco is not a super new stadium, but it's on the, you know, it's not an old stadium. And so everything is really nice in there and feels very new. Although I, I haven't been there in a long time. Last, 
last time I was there was, you know, seven years ago or something like that. Maybe a little less. Yeah, seven years ago, I think. Um, and so I'm sure some things have changed, but, um, you know, they've probably made a bunch of upgrades and a lot of stuff I'm talking about might be old at this point. Um, as far as road clubhouses go, you know, on the road clubhouse, you're never going to have it as, as nice as your home clubhouse typically. And so I've talked before about like Dodger Stadium. Like Dodger Stadium was an amazing stadium. It was one of my favorite stadiums to play and probably my favorite. Um, the clubhouse is not going to be anyone's favorite. Like it's the away clubhouse. It's very small. They had like the old cage lockers that I talked about in high school. Like you had, that was basically what it was. Um, they were just kind of thrown everywhere. So it felt, it felt more like a football hockey or like a football high school locker. And that's kind of what it felt like. Um, you know, the calf area is a little bit smaller. Um, they did have chicken fingers, which I was a big fan of. They had chicken fingers every night. I love fried food. So I ate that a lot. So again, the stadium is not going to be anything like a, a home stadium. Um, but you're probably not going to spend as much time there. Um, usually the home stadiums are going to get there much earlier because your team hits batting practice first. And so you'll get there, you know, some guys get there at noon for a seven o'clock game. I used to get there around like one to one thirty, and I would eat lunch there and then I start getting ready to go. The away stadium, you hit BP second. And so you're going to get there a little bit later. So you're not spending as much time in the clubhouse. You don't need like this big area to sit down and relax. Um, now there are some stadiums that have that and usually the newer stadiums will. So, um, you know, without going through all of them, like, like the like the Rocky Stadium, um, I don't even know what they call it now, but you know, their their away oh their uh, visitor clubhouse was huge, and so you could hang out there all day long if you wanted. You know, there's some visitor clubhouses that have you know ping pong tables and um, you know pool tables and stuff like that to play with. You know, and uh, let's see, the Nationals visiting clubhouse um, had an area where you could sit down and watch watch games. I, I remember this. I was only there for four games. I think I played there, but I remember on Sunday the Pats were playing the Dolphins and, uh, you know, you could sit down and watch a football game if you wanted. That was actually the day, if you're a Patriots fan, that the Dolphins broke out the Wildcat and uh, Ronnie Brown ran for like 15 touchdowns against us. I remember watching the game and um, that was the year Brady actually got hurt too. It's funny how you remember that stuff. All my debut, all the stuff there in my debut, I remember we were playing against the Brewers in Milwaukee and I came in and I saw, um, I had Brady on my fantasy team and I remember I came into the clubhouse. I wasn't playing that game. I came in for something and I hear on the, the TV, like Tom Brady goes, you know, is, is out of the game or something. I forget who the, oh, Matt Castle I think was in the game and I was like, what the hell is going on? Brady's out of the game. And I stayed in there for like 10 minutes to figure it out and then realized, um, that I was going to be depressed for a full year because Brady had tore his knee up. So, um, anyways, got off subject there. But yeah, so, um, you know, Washington had that. Um, and so, you know, again, there's some clubhouses like Boston. You know, I've not, I've not played, I've not been in the, uh, the Red Sox clubhouse, but again, you hear stuff like how tiny it is and how there's no room there because it's an older stadium. And so, um, you know, some of the older stadiums are going to have a much smaller area and you're not going to have as much room to, to move around. But they do a pretty good job, I would say, in most stadiums to make it, you know, really, really comfortable for the players. They want them to feel comfortable. They want them to feel like they can come in there and get in there early, stay in there late um, and all that stuff. So that's all I have for Clubhouse. I hope that answers all your questions. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I'll help you guys out and answer as many questions as I can. Um, check out Instagram, Angeline Baseball, on a Twitter feed, Man 99 We're posting videos all the time for you guys. Check out the uh, description box below where I put a bunch of links to books I've been reading and also the training tools we use with all of our players. I think you guys will find those helpful. Um, check out our website, AntonioBaseball.com, to learn how to be part of our teams and work with us. And that's all I got, fellas. Thank you so much for your questions, and we'll talk to you later.